Hello YouTube and my fellow vapors. I know last video I said my Agit 2 de-threaded, uh, but I did get my package from SMG today. Um, so I got an atomizer, uh, something that I think is going to be really exciting. I also got a couple of other things. I got a 30 milliliter bottle of Crasberry. That was awesome. And uh, what did I get here? Banana Heaven. I did not order Banana Heaven, but uh, I got some Banana Heaven. Uh, let's see. Um, I also got. Uh, we'll show that. Show that in a minute. Let's pour, pour this out. Why the? Why the heck did I get banana heaven? Did they give me something bonus here? Thank you for your order. Threw in a sample of one of our new flavors. I hope you like banana nut bread. It says banana heaven. Banana nut bread, huh? Mmm, well that's nice. Uh, thank you, s &G. That was kind of a bonus. I opened this blindly, and uh, it's kind of a nice little bonus. So here's my new atomizer. I'm going to show you this on camera, and then I'm going to disconnect it from my USB so it's not a web camera, and it's going to get a lot better resolution. It's an A7. Now this is a rebuildable uh, drip tip atomizer, and I got this uh, for a, m a number of reasons. Uh, one, it was inexpensive. This thing was only fifteen dollars. Um, I think that's going to be a really cool thing later on. But uh, it's also rebuildable, and it did come with a, w a wick and coil. They said it didn't, uh, but uh, that's okay. So it's rebuildable. Um, it's got little thumb screws in there. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you better in the uh, uh, when I disconnect it, but. Um, that's not all. It's also, for $15, it's a, a highly moddable, uh, rebuildable atomizer. It's a drip tip atomizer. Um, I think that's that's really awesome, a really cool feature. Uh, being a drip tip atomizer, I'll be able to use this to test other fluids. But uh, being that it's a uh, um, it's highly moddable, it's a rebuildable, I can dual coil it. Excuse me, I can dual coil it. Um, I've seen people using dual coils. I've seen a, a video where someone drilled holes right by the post so that it was just this massive cloud machine and uh, I'm gonna try and do that for 15 bucks you know I'm not really uh, spending a whole bunch of money on uh, my uh, my atomizer if I screwed up it's only a, a loss of $15 I also got three heat elements for my iClear 16 and then I got this this is some um, ceramic wick I don't know how this is going to work out, but uh, I'm going to put this in uh, my A7, and we'll see how that goes. And then I also got some 30-gauge uh, uh, cantho wire. It's 30-gauge. And then uh, I got an acrylic uh, bullet tip. And I, I went with acrylic this time just because I like to bite and chew on these sometimes, or at least bite on them, and the metal kind of hurts. So I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect this, and I am going to um, get a get a nice closer view of the the A7, so you can see uh, what it looks like with a much better resolution. So through the editing of video magic, excuse me, the video magic of editing. Anyway, uh, we'll get into that in just a second. Okay, so here we are. Here's my A7. Um, Let's see if I can get my hands around here. So here's the A7. Uh, this is what it's going to look like uh, screwed together. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of interesting, you know. It's kind of just it kind of itself looks like a bullet. Uh, let's see if I can get some better lighting over here without hitting my mic too hard. Uh, there we go. And uh, so it's got just a, a regular uh, drip tip on it, and uh, that's how it's going to look. Um, so I'll give you a look a, a better view of the insides right here. You can see it's got uh, two posts right here with just some thumb screws, and then uh, there's the the wick and coil. Now I don't know what kind of wick and coil are on here right now, but as I said before, I got some 30 gauge cantho wire, and I have uh, some ceramic wick. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to save this. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to try and create a wick and coil myself just because I want to uh, 
you know, I'm going to dual coil it right off the bat. Maybe that sounds a little bit excessive, but uh, I do want to see how that works. And uh, it looks like I, I should be able to just save this or at least get in the habit of building my own wick and coil and not worry about using this anyway. So I'm going to, again, cut away after uh, rebuilding this. And uh, again, here it is. Now, like I said, this is this was only a $15 piece so it's uh, really inexpensive um, I want to mod it uh, but I also want another one in case I screw up and at $15 they're not they're not breaking the bank so uh, I'll cut back when I am finished putting this together with this uh, um, wick and coil okay so I did attempt to dual coil this um, I didn't mess around with it too much the wick is a lot thicker than I thought it would be uh, the a7 is uh, pretty small uh, I got it on my evic right now posting at 1.6 with uh, it's got four coil of a 30 gauge and I'm going to show you the the heat on this and you can see the, the coil going really nice all the way through so then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, saturate this wick and uh, put some fluid in there and I think I'll just start off with Crasberry and see how that works the completed unit will look like this one second will look like this and uh, will fire pretty nicely I think I will probably be able to put the finishing cap on for the evic yeah it looks like I'll be able to put this on so it's not going to look too bad. You know, it's not going to jet out there and look like a total mess. But uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, it's a drip It's a drip tip atomizer. So next thing we're going to do is uh, test it out with, uh, excuse me, with uh, some Crasberry. Okay, so I got the A7 here. I got the uh, new bullet tip, uh, drip tip here. And I got my Crasberry right here this is uh, 10 milligrams I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna saturate this wick and give it a vape and see how it vapes now it was posting 1.6 ohms which isn't bad for a 30 gauge canthal wire I really want to dual coil this um, the wick I bought is a lot thicker than I expected so maybe I don't need to double it up but um, I'll figure something out I really want to dual coil it I know it can can handle a dual coil um, so let's go ahead and saturate this wick and uh, see how it goes can't see in there very well oh yeah okay hopefully I'm not flooding it this is new. I'm really inexperienced with this, uh, so I do not know how well this is going to turn out. Sounds like I flooded it. Big time. Wow. I must have really flooded it pretty bad. I'll be honest, I'm not getting much of anything here. A little disappointed right now. Uh, quite disappointed right now. Um, I suppose I flooded it, and uh, let's try and drain some of the fluid out.
Oh, that is some terrible vapor. It's getting really warm, though. So I don't know what's going on. That says 1.2 ohms. That's horrible. That, that's just outright terrible right now. So, gosh, I don't know what to make of this. Um, it looks like in more of an advanced device, you know, it's rebuildable. Maybe I should have tried with this wick. Holy crap, look at the size of that uh, wire. It's thin. It's really thin. It almost looks like a 35 gauge or less. I don't seem to be getting any notable vapor. <coughs> Excuse me. Now it's overheating. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in this right now. Um, I think I'm going to take some more time to get used to it. Uh, maybe I'm wrapping my coils too thick. Um, let's take a look at the original. So here's what I've got. It's uh, four strands of looks like silica wick with uh, coil around it. It looks like it's pretty thin. You can't see it very well. And this is what I replaced it with, with this uh, thick uh, ceramic wick and uh, four coils of uh, 30 gauge cantha wire which honestly looks like it could be cut in half and then each each half could be used as a coil Let's, I tried to keep it about the same size but um, each half could be used as a wick so maybe I'm using too much wick and making it difficult to actually use well there I'm finally getting something this is awfully disappointing right now. Got to be honest, it is awfully disappointing. I think I'm going to spend some time with this little guy and uh, figure it out and actually record a video where it's actually working. Because that is absolutely abysmal. Alright, hold on. Give me give me a minute or two or maybe a half hour and let me figure this thing out. Alright, I got this working a little bit. Uh, let's let's give it a vape on this thing. No, it's uh, three point. I'm gonna put it on three point five volts. It's saying one point one ohms. Um, I think it's got like four or five coil of uh, thirty gauge count the wire, and I only used one half of the wick. Let's try it again. Ooh, boy, vapor production is really good on this thing right now. I gotta be honest though. The A7 is uh, it's a pretty finicky device. Um, it's going to take some getting used to. I really like this right now. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed at how uh, technical it's going to be. Boy, look at that output, though. That's some pretty good cloud output. Um, let me get you a, a side view of it so you can just see the poof of cloud a little bit more like I'm seeing it. It's 
pretty thick. It's not bad for just a one wick and one coil, to be honest. Um, it's the A7, it's $15. Uh, the, the drip tip is different. Um, I kind of like it, it's, it looks like a bullet head, so the whole thing kind of looks like a bullet. It looks like a rifle round, which is pretty cool. Um, you might have easier success with this thing on a mechanical mod. On a variable voltage mod that's going to use, uh, gosh, what is it, uh, the, the ohms law, whatever it is, that's going to restrict the resistance you have. Like mine says 1.1 ohms, uh, EVIC is like 1.1 is the absolute minimum. You should really be hitting 1.2 for consistency. If I go below 1.1 ohms and I get 1 ohms of resistant, excuse me, it's going to say atomizer short and then I'm going to have to fiddle around with the device until it finally works again. Still, the output is pretty good for one coil. Now, it's a drip tip atomizer, so I pull off the, the drip tip if I want to. I don't need to, uh, but I, I'll be able to just drip in there. I'm going to see how, a drip, how it drips. Uh, that's four drips from Crasberry, and uh, let's see how that works. Not bad, not bad at all. It's actually got, you know, I really like the output on it. So it's a, like I said again, you know, it's, it's the A7. It's a rebuildable atomizer. It's a rebuildable drip tip atomizer. And for 15 bucks, I bought it because I want to play around with it. I want to, you know, maybe destroy a few trying to mod it. Uh, and I'm not going to break the bank by doing that. Uh, you know, I might drill a, a bigger air hole in here, in the top here, so it's got um, more air. Uh, you know, I might hit the post or not, not hit the post, but drill so that uh, it's aiming at the, the uh, wick and coil, producing a lot more airflow. Um, right now it's doing pretty good. Um, I'm using this uh, ceramic wick, which is honestly really thick, and I'm, it is the first time I've ever used it. It's kind of brittle. It breaks, and then uh, little shards fly out, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know what that's doing in my lungs. Uh, I'm not excited about that right now. But, um, you know, this video is going to be several cuts, uh, me failing, and then uh, finally getting some moderate success. Um, it's okay. I think I can do better. Now, another reason I bought this uh, atomizer, not just because the Aga T2 failed, but uh, also because it's a, a drip tip atomizer, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to. Um, excuse me, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that. So I'm hoping I'll be able to uh, do more taste testing with just this atomizer. You know, I want to put it on and flip through uh, different fluids with it, and maybe instead of you know having to uh, clean out my Aga T2 all the time or uh, switch into a the iClear 16 and having to clear that out all the time. I can just uh, put fluids in this. I'm not sure. I'm going to give this some test runs and um, you know, I'm going to play around with it. I just got it, put it together, and uh, give you a final review of it. In the meantime, look forward to uh, Banana Heaven, which is a banana nut bread flavor that uh, I got for free from SNG Vapors. Thank you, SNG. And I also got uh, two more flavors, which are put away. They're not on my desk that uh, we will look at in the future. One more vape for the road. Until next video, I will see you later.